We have uh, been members of Temple Shalom uh, for more than 40 years, since uh, September of uh, 1978. And in all that time, we have lots and lots of memories of things. We've picked some of the things that have been most important and stand out in our collective memory of things that we would like to mention. Uh, I have many memories of accomplishments of my children as well as friendships we have made. Um, particularly, uh, both my children have had B'nai mitzvahs um, at Temple Shalom and their confirmations. And it was always so wonderful to be able to quell with pride at all the work they did and leading to the growth as wonderful people they are now today. Um, and, at the, and also, I remember to coming in first and meeting people through the sisterhood. And that's one way I began to make friends here, doing one time spending a whole time before Passover making matzo ball soup, <laughs> lots of matzo balls. Um, and at the other end is when we've needed temple, they've also been there. Um, we've unfortunately gone through illness and death of our parents. And the temple has been there to help us not only with the rituals, but with caring and being supportive. And, uh, you know, we've also had some periods when um, somebody's been sick or needing surgery. And we can always count on the temple being there with food and kind words to help us get through that. And so these have all made this a very special place for me. Yeah. Uh, another memory that certainly stands out is our daughter's wedding which happened on October 28th, 2011, not too long after 9-11, when Rabbi Khan, who was going to do the ceremony, was called up to service, and we weren't sure if he was going to get back in time. Thankfully, he did, but Rabbi Feshbach had been very forthcoming that he would help us if we needed his help, and the wedding would go on, which it did. Um, we've been longtime members of the Temple Shalom Wine Tasters, and we're in a Havara, the Silver Spring Havara, for more than 25 years. And we've made a lot of friends. They're our closest friends uh, in the temple. I served for 23 years on the board, including two terms as two terms as president, the only person to have done that in the history of the temple. Um, another thing that uh, we found really wonderful. Uh, three couples in our Havara celebrated their 50th anniversary during the same year. And we had approached uh, Rabbi Rachel and uh, Emily to you know, get, get a blessing. Well, they went overboard. They, they created this wonderful blessing and service. They, they had flowers. Emily wrote a song for us. It was really wonderful and again shows the support that we can get from the temple. And finally, one of the things that I'm proudest of, the temple recognized all the work that I have done and presented me with a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2015. Uh, we had a beautiful ceremony, a beautiful evening, and uh, it was it was just over an overwhelmingly emotional experience for me and I'm sure for Fran and the rest of my family as well to have that happen. So we hope to be members for a long time to come yet. Yeah. <laughs>